we'll talk about it. Then we'll go to a break. But uh, wanted to get your uh, news and information about Hickory Alive right now because there are some concerns. I guess is the best way to describe it. Concerns. Well, I I, I don't think that. Uh, I don't. I'm, I'm not pointing this at the JCs or the Hickory Downtown Development Association okay. because um, I don't know of any reason to think that they are doing anything wrong. Right. But what is happening, Hal, is a lot of underage people are gathering there without adult supervision. Okay. Now they are not in. To my knowledge, they are not inside the ropes where the adult beverages are. Right. Uh, that there probably are exceptions to that, but that's not what I observed on Friday when I when I uh, drove through the area. But uh, the underage people are in the alleys, in the streets. They're congregating on the corners. And I mean, I'm not talking a handful. I'm talking hundreds. Wow. And I would just caution folks to know where your kids are uh, every all the time. But on Friday night, know where your kids are. That's that's. Uh, and and the city of Hickory, I think I, I saw five police cars. Right. We should not be babysitting child sitting for the city of Hickory parents. Okay? Right. And, um, and of course, we all know that if something bad happens, people are going to say, well, where are the police? Right. Five police officers in downtown Hickory on a Friday night for anything ought to be more than enough. But, you know, as I looked out there and saw all of those kids, and I thought about the potential risks, I said, Golly, I hope that's enough. So the uh, the concern would be parents making sure that their kids know where their kids are. There is no, I guess, uh, age limit for uh, Hickory Alive. I guess that other than just for the alcohol sales. Otherwise, it would be well. There's no. We don't have a curfew in Hickory. Okay. okay. So we, and I'm not suggesting that we're going to do a curfew. Right. I, that that could be something we would come to, but uh, uh, but I hate to say this, but I think before we do that, we would say we simply cannot police outdoor activities. Huh. Okay. Now that would be awful, wouldn't it? Right. If we would say in Hickory, we can't have an outdoor activity because we can't keep the children away. And I'm serious now. I know this sounds, this may sound harsh, but uh, uh, I, I just don't know. We we are not. We we are. Af I am afraid that something bad can happen. So this needs to be looked at. This needs to be taken an, uh, another look at right now. Yeah, and I want to go back and say once again. That's not an indictment of the JCs right. or the Downtown Development Association right. for having a an event that they rope off with the police tape and everything, and to my knowledge, uh, try to enforce their adults only policy. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I have. Uh, it's been a while since I've been to Hickory Alive. I'll tell you the, just the honest truth. On it's been years since I have. Friday evenings, I'm just, you know. <laughs> I'm just an old married man. I, I, I'm worn out. Um, let's see here. You want to grab those headphones? We, uh, yeah, we are going to take comments. And we'll see. We all, we'll take comments about Hickory Alive. So hold on just a second. We've got to go. Uh, yeah, we'll take comments, Susie. We've got to go break right now. When we come back, we'll take, uh, take comments about Hickory Alive. More First Talk, right? Good morning. Welcome back to First Talk with Hal Rowe on 1290 WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Yes, of course. We always take your comments, your questions. 327-WHKY, 327-9459. That's one of the reasons the mayor's here. You got us on the headphones there? Yep. Tom, go ahead. You got a comment on uh, Hickory Alive? Sir, uh, th this is Tom. Uh, I heard the, what I consider to be a little bit of diatribe about the kids at Hickory Alive and them being unsupervised. I mean, we have to have something for kids to do in this town, and they're going to go somewhere. I mean, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to hide them in the attic of their house. It sort of reminds me of that movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang when we 
you know, that they sought out the kids and, and tried to arrest them because they didn't want any kids anywhere. And, uh, you know, when I was a kid, we went to the mall. Are we, are we going to uh, fuss because there's not anybody supervising the kid all the, all the time? Mr. The Mayor, mall, I mean, well, uh, I would I would say to this this to Tom a couple of things. One, uh, eleven to sixteen is too wide a range to have kids out there unsupervised. Do we know for sure that they were eleven? Years hey, old? I, I drove through there, Tom. Okay, but I mean, you knew that they were eleven years I, old. I saw kids who looked younger than eleven. I'm saying eleven. Okay. Okay. But I mean, there there needs to be something for kids. I mean, we're well. Very, uh, let me tell you, Tom. The, the, we have a Y teen center that I think is. Uh, I, I, I I know they want to be inclusive. And that's free. Well, they want to be inclusive. Is it free though, sir? Well, I'll tell you what. Our streets are not going to be free to mobs of people. Okay. Well, I, I, on Friday nights. So we're not going to have Hickory Live anymore? Is that a model? It's not going to be. Our, I said our streets are not going to be free to mobs of people. But, but Hickory the, Alive the is not a street older, function. Hickory Alive is not a street function. The people that are older, like let's say that they're 20s, 30s, 40 years old, are they considered to be a mob also? Hickory Alive is not a street function. Okay, so you, you're saying that they were roaming up and down the street. Well, absolutely, perfectly, exactly right, yes. <laughs> well, sir, I mean... And incidentally, I, those I, were the I kids. I, I didn't see adults know, roaming up and down the streets. Retirees, and uh, I don't see that we're doing much for kids to try and attract to have, you know, more young people. And that's the reason why a lot of them are leaving. They feel like that there are people that, that don't care about them in this town. You know what? I first heard that back in the 50s. And when I was growing up in Virginia, that there's no place for the kids to go. There were, ch and now, now, there were church groups. Here we have the Y Teen Center. There were movies. There were, and, and I'm not going to lie to you, Tom, and tell you that I didn't hang around with my buddies at some of the local, local hamburger joints sometimes. Okay? But that's when. When was the first time you heard there's not enough for the kids to do? Well, there were, when I was a kid, there was not enough for us to do. Or there never do. has been but in the history so, of mankind. So we, no, we, we marauded in gangs in our neighborhood. Well, now, I, <laughs> did I did I say any gangs were marauding? Yes, sir. But I mean, that sounds like the implication when you're talking about like all these groups of people. That are hanging out on the streets of. Well, when, when, were, when were you there last, Tom? When was I? When was was I at Hickory Alive? Yeah. Uh, last year. Well, I wasn't there last year. I was there Friday night. Okay. Well, I'll go down there and I'll check it out this Friday night. Then. Please do, and I and I think you might be surprised. I was, I was not just surprised. I was shocked. Well, there you go. Good. Uh, Tom, call us back. Let us know what you think about Hickory Thank Alive. You, I, I'm sorry if that sounds a little hostile, but I think we need to, to find things to do for the kids. Or, uh, you know. Great phone call. We're glad you called in. We thank you very much. Go down, check out Hickory Alive. Give Absolutely. us a call back, and let's talk about it. Let's keep an open uh, conversation about this, and let's keep it going. Yes, sir. Tom, thank you so much for your phone call. We do appreciate it. Appreciate the interaction. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye bye. Three two seven W H K Y three two seven nine four five nine. Good morning, Margaret. We're talking about Hickory Alive this morning. You had a comment for the mayor. Uh, I want to remind the mayor that uh, back in those days that he was talking about, you didn't have the beer parties like you have up there on Main Street. Um, you have the entertainment. The kids want to see the entertainment that they're roped off. They can't go, but so far. So uh, I think you're being a, a little bit unfair, and I understand what you're saying about the underage kids being out there, but they're underage for what? They're underage for the beer. Well, Margaret, I, I would not disagree with you at all, except I will tell you that uh, if, 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 if we don't have a party atmosphere, the adults won't come, the bands won't come, and then the kids won't come. So we, we would take care of the kid problem, but it'd be like throwing out the baby with the bathwater. I know that. 
And uh, but we may not be able to have outdoor functions if the parents will not keep their kids in a safe environment. Well, I can tell you this: there are other places that have entertainment up at, at nearly every. Uh, nearly every town now has entertainment, and believe me, uh, the the kids all ages are are able to come. It's all family family entertainment, and I think if you have that, if you have family entertainment, the kids the kids would be satisfied. Margaret, that's a great phone call. Appreciate you calling that's, in this That's morning. a great point. In fact, I, I know Morganton has uh, the same kind of entertainment on weekends, and I'm going to call my friend, Mayor Cohen, and ask him how they uh, how they manage that. And you got Lenore as well. Lenore, Morganton, a lot of different areas. Valdez. Valdez, Valdez. has great entertainment on, on Friday nights, and uh, a lot of times they have the cruise ends. They say, it's it's a great family atmosphere up there, and and it's uh, well attended, and uh, we just invite anybody up there, and uh, nothing is ever ever uh, un unfriendly to families. Margaret, we're going to go right now. Thank you, got, Margaret. Got another caller on the line, but you had a great call this morning. We appreciate your input. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye. Bye bye. Three two seven W H K Y three two seven nine four five nine. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. You have a comment regarding uh, Hickory Alive in downtown. I do, and I would like to say that I agree with almost everything the mayor has said this morning. I was at Hickory Alive Friday night, and I enjoy it very, very much. And inside the lines of Hickory Alive, it's fine. It's when you go out of them. And I saw, when I was walking to my car, I saw mobs of young people running towards Burnt. There were so many that I was scared. And I stopped and went back. And it shouldn't be that way. Um, it's not about finding kids stuff to do. It's about parents making sure where their kids are and what they're doing. It's not up to the city to control those children. It's up to the parents. And um, I was scared. The Friday last two Friday nights ago, I was denied turning because all the kids were standing in the road. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So um, it, it's um, I don't know what to do, but I I do agree with what. The mayor has said. And this is somebody who's actually been down there, who's been a part of it and actually seen it. So, Jerry, we thank you very much for your phone call this morning. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 327-WHKY, 327-9459. Well, it seems like people have a lot of comments, a lot of different opinions on this, Mr. Mayor. So, obviously, this is something that's going to need to be explored, something that needs to be taken a look at, and uh, obviously something that's going to have to be reviewed with uh, all the parties involved. Well, it... Uh, I, I know when I first heard about the, the, the fact that it, it had changed, right. I thought that there was some overreaction, and uh, and I I don't I don't like to overreact, but I went down there Friday and I was appalled. We're gonna go ahead and close the way we normally do Monday through Thursday with the greatest song in the world for the greatest nation in the world, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.